Hey everyone, so today we'll be solving another cross-head scripting lab on Ports Figure Academy. So let's get started. So this lab contains a DOM-based cross-head scripting vulnerability in the submit feedback page. Uh, it uses a jQuery's library uh, selector function to find an anchor element and changes its href attribute using data from location.search. So what it basically means is that, you know, um, the jQuery code, it will take some data from the URL and it will assign it to a href attribute of a particular anchor element on the page, right? And to solve this lab, make the backlink, you know, alert document.cookie. Okay, that's fine. So let me just go to the lab page and click on submit feedback. This is where we have the DOM XSS vulnerability, right? Great. Now, if you see the URL on top, right, we have something called as, you know, a written path equals to slash. And that is pretty interesting, right? Okay. So before checking that part, let us actually see the source code of the page and see what jQuery code that is being executed on the page. So if I scroll down, I can see that uh, there is some jQuery code that is being executed on the page, right? So let us see what it is basically doing. So it is actually taking a backlink, right? Let us see what is a backlink. Control F, backlink. Okay, it is just here. So it is taking this anchor tag with ID equals to backlink. I think this is nothing but uh, the back link on the page. If I inspect this, I think this is the one they are referring to. Yeah, this is the one. Anchor tag with ID backlink. So it is basically taking this anchor tag, right? with id backlink and then it is actually giving an attribute called as href which equals to whatever the value that we are giving to the written path so basically whatever the attribute that we are giving to the written path parameter right it is just taking that value and adding that value to a href attribute of this particular tag that is you know anchor tag right so let us actually try that so let me just give a random value called as i code right enter and let us see if that actually adds href attribute with you know value i code or not so let me just inspect the element back inspect and if you see here okay let me just right click and edit as html you can see that it has actually added a href attribute right with the value of i code so the cross-head scripting payload that works for you know uh, the href attribute is nothing but you know whenever you have a href attribute what you can do is you can put java script alert one alert one this payload is the one that works with the href attributes so what i'll do is instead of i code i'll be doing um, javascript alert and we'll be doing document.cookie document.cookie right close it and enter and as you can see we solve the lab so let me just go to that element right let me just go to that element inspect that element you can see that the payload is there now so here, if you see, if I do a right click, it as HTML, you can see that payload is injected successfully. So if I click on that back button, right, that back link, then this particular payload will be executed. So let us see if that is being executed or not. So let me just close this and click on back. And there you go. It is being executed. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.